They say that everything is bigger in Texas, and that may well be true. We can tell you that it definitely feels like forever crossing this massive state. We left our last stop in New Braunfels and headed north towards the high plains of the Texas Panhandle. Most of the Panhandle seems ridiculously flat and absolutely featureless, save for thousands of wind turbines stretching all the way to the horizon. However, RV travelers and outdoor adventurers in the know realize that it's not entirely true. There are little hidden secrets in the Panhandle waiting to be discovered. In a mere 10 miles off the interstate, a grand adventure awaits in the second biggest canyon in the entire United States. Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and this week, we are in the northern panhandle of Texas, visiting Palo Duro Canyon, so stay tuned. Palo Duro Canyon stretches for some 120 miles, with an average width of 6 miles that widens to even 20 miles in places. In most areas, it's around 800 feet deep, but in spots, it reaches 1,000 feet. The canyon was formed by the erosion of the Caprock Escarpment over millions of years by the waters of the Prairie Dog Town Fork Red River. This upper section of the canyon near Amarillo was purchased by the state of Texas in 1934 and turned into the 20,000 acre Palo Duro Canyon State Park by work crews of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Artist Georgia O'Keeffe once lived nearby, and although she's perhaps best known for her landscapes in northern New Mexico, she made paintings of Palo Duro Canyon during 1916 to 1918. Although there's a scenic drive that covers much of the park, the best way to see Palo Duro Canyon is by parking that car and heading out on one of the 16 trails available for hiking, biking, and horseback riding. We're spending this afternoon hiking the first half of the Lighthouse Trail. It's three miles each way to the lighthouse, one of the canyon's most prominent geological features. It's unfortunate that we lack the time to complete the entire out and back route, but this scenery is nevertheless absolutely stunning.
we've got reservations for the week right in the canyon, in the state park's sagebrush campground with partial hookups for water and electric. prior to our arrival that there's zero Verizon signal anywhere in the canyon. Zilch. Nada. However, we were encouraged by online reviews that touted decent service on AT&T. Don't believe them. From our campsite, that service was weak, slow, and erratic at best, even with a signal booster and a directional antenna mounted on our flagpole. Come Monday morning, I actually drove to the Canyon Rim to work from my truck where I could get a decent signal. And by Monday evening, we gave up. The state park generously issued a refund and we relocated to Canyon Rim RV Park just outside the state park entrance. AT&T signal is sufficient here to work for the week. Although we can't in good conscience recommend this place, unless you like invisible staff and overflowing sewer connections. There are a couple of other things we're seeing in the Amarillo area while visiting Palo Duro Canyon. One of these sits in a cornfield adjacent to I-40 in the historic Route 66. Cadillac Ranch is a public art installation created in 1974 by three members of the art group Ant Farm. It consists of 10 Cadillacs from the 1950s buried nose first in the ground. Writing graffiti on or otherwise spray painting the vehicles is now encouraged, and spray paint is even sold on site from a trailer. The vehicles have long since lost their original colors beneath thick layers of dripping spray paint. Another stop that we couldn't miss is the Jack Sizemore RV Museum. Jack and his son Trent began collecting and restoring unusual vintage RVs over 25 years ago, and it built a museum to house their collection that includes many travel trailers, pop-ups, motorhomes, teardrops, and other unique designs from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. We're sure that more than a few of you recognize this beauty.
Jack Sizemore RV Museum recently relocated to the frontage road lining I-27 and is open Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays only. Admission is free and donations are accepted. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed visiting Palo Duro Canyon with us. If you liked this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, you're going to find the comment section. And we'd love to hear from you after each episode of Grand Adventure that we air every Wednesday evening. Now, if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, I can't think of a better time to go smash that little red subscribe button, the one right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you come along on each and every grand adventure. And we'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.